Okay, can we just talk about something for a second? I have been having such a hard time with Streamlabs OBS recently that I can't be the only one experiencing this issue. Or I'm the biggest idiot there ever was who tried to stream. So lately, I have, I, I'm pretty sure I have written several tweets about this to Streamlabs only to get no answers or any kind of support on this, and I'm hoping that making a video will shed some light or maybe help me realize what I'm doing wrong, or hopefully shed some light to Streamlabs about some of the issues that myself and possibly many other streamers have had with Streamlabs OBS. Now, and I'm, I'm talking specifically about the alert box. I have had alerts set up for over a year with certain media, and I, several times now after going through the alert box options and everything like that, have found that my alert media resets. Even when I'm not changing any kind of settings or anything, I'll just be poking around and the media will reset back to default. And I'm not clicking anything or anything like that. So if anybody has any kind of suggestions or anything why this might be happening, please let me know down in the comment section. Now, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. I also am going to highlight another issue that I have found in Streamlabs OBS that update after update, I figured that this would be fixed. And yet it hasn't. And so I'm going to go through and try to replicate this issue. But I've noticed that right-clicking and going to properties on your alert box will bring up your alert box properties, all right, or your settings and everything. So here on hosts, this is obviously the default media right here. Now going to the media, I will change this to the media that I want. and volume 75, done. Make sure follows, see now follows is back to default. I never changed that back to default. Uh, subscriptions is back to default. So I'm gonna go ahead and click done. I didn't change any of that. And I had custom media that, were, that was up, uploaded into those slots. So we're gonna go ahead and test out some of these widgets. So that's the default widget. So my custom uh, media is now gone for Oh, that. yeah. My audio, custom audio is still there, but the media is, has disappeared. Now, I never pressed on donations when I clicked through settings just then, so you'll see that my custom media has stayed the same. If I had clicked on the donation setting, I'm pretty sure it would have just loaded back the default media so here's bits that is my default bits and then here's host this is something that i just changed okay so let's go back let's say i want this media a little bigger and stretch it out so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna double click alert box no properties Okay, so this is now the other, the second issue that I've been having with Streamlabs, that if I go into the alert box once, the alert box settings, just one time, it, and press OK, and press Done, it will not open back up. It is not below on my browser. It is nowhere. And I can't get alert box properties to come back up. Opening up setting, doing open the source properties, nothing. Nothing will get this to open back up. And so I end up having to close out of Streamlabs OBS every single time I want to make multiple changes to my alert box. And this is a huge huge time-wasting problem. 
if you want to go through your alert box, and especially when everything just resets, anytime you click on one of the alert box preferences, whether it be follow or anything like that, you don't have to even change any of the media. All you have to do is click on it just to look at it, and it seems to just change back to the default media. Um, and so both of those problems are causing this cascading issue of trying to upload your, your custom alert media and then save it all in one foul swoop because not only will you not be able to get back into the settings without having to restart Streamlabs OBS, but when you go back into it, whatever you've saved as your custom media might switch back to the default for no reason whatsoever. So please, if anybody from the Streamlabs OBS team or anybody that is more knowledgeable with Streamlabs OBS, please, please let me know that I'm not crazy, that this is a common issue, that more people than myself are struggling with, that would make me so happy. It wouldn't. It doesn't make me happy in the sense that these issues are still in this kind of very popular streaming platform after even a year. I remember these issues being being you know uh, a problem a year ago when I started, and the fact that they're still here, um, uh, causing havoc uh, and and making my efficiency uh, that much more. I don't know, terrible. Uh, anyway, I'm just rambling on at this at this point. So please, if if you know of any kind of um any kind of fixes or anything like that, please let me know down in the comment section. If you like videos like this, please give uh give me a little like on this video and yeah, follow if you want more issues as I find them. All right, thanks.